Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. Some more friends have streamed in and now YouTubers are streaming in from literally all over the world and my Zoom friends. It's Sunday Sacred Self-Care class, one of my very favorites and an opportunity to relax, settle in. And we start with eight or nine minutes on the back in Shavasana, which is the deepest possible relaxing pose. I hope you'll give yourself permission to enjoy that. I sit for the first eight or nine minutes while I manage the computers and the analytics and all that stuff. So I do that so that you can relax. A lot of us in the Bay Area are distracted and uh, enchanted by the big game today. So congratulations if you made it in. It's great to have you on board. <clears throat> Nice deep breath together. Maybe swallow once, circle your jaw around. Oh. Welcome if you're watching for the first time on YouTube, whether recorded or live stream, we're a group of people that get together every Sunday for a little over an hour to do some yin yoga, restorative yoga, to meditate a bit, to chant. And it's very accessible, it's for everybody. And the underlying intention is that anytime two or more are gathered in the spirit, we can relax and get greater access to source, God, love, spirit, whatever name you'd like to give it. Anyway, we're just relaxing on the back. Maybe wiggle your legs out a couple of times. Find your breath. Relax. Easy does it. We're the easy does it group of yogis, even on big game day. By the way, if you're live streaming in from Detroit, we extend all love and tolerance. Sports is generally a zero sum game, but yoga is Everybody can win. Good, you're doing great. Maybe we can move our breathing down toward our belly button now. Make a little meditation out of the rise and the fall of your navel stem. Let your brain sink back, let the forehead, flesh of your forehead release, full permission to disengage. Okay, and then our Sunday ritual where we spend about a minute just feeling our feels. By that I mean simply go inside and observe, allow. 
Whatever your emotional climate is today, breathe what you feel, feel what you breathe. It's a great healing practice. It has been for me. Good job. Now, having observed aloud, witnessed our feelings, we'll take a very big inhale together. And we'll exhale it all out, release out. We are calm and empty souls. Good, now wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate some feel good through your body. Swish it around. Good, now take your arms up to the ceiling, lace your hands, extend your arms up over your head and push your palms away. Point your toes forward and get some of that stretchy, writhy, first thing in the morning feeling lying on the floor. Be gentle with it though. Our movements today are gentle, accessible. Okay, and then draw your knees in, roll around on your back a little bit with your knees hugged in. Maybe the other way. All right, and then we'll sit up together. You could sit up you could roll up. There's a lot of ways to come up, but by all means, come on up. Um, welcome. I make elephant ears to my friends and happy Sunday, big game Sunday. So a lot of people are distracted. They're making hors d'oeuvres or eating hors d'oeuvres or they're at Costco getting um, pallets of alcohol or just whatever makes the day more fun. So whatever happens, whether you're a sports fan or not, whichever city you're from, yeah, we're in the Bay Area here. Uh, let's get some pregame relaxation, shall we? My name is Greg, and this is something I do online every Sunday. It's a self-care healing class for the purpose of soothing and calming our writhing nerves, bodies, and minds so that we can enjoy this adventure of life. Disclaimer issued. So one thing we do in this class is we do chant OM. So of course you're muted and or if you're watching recorded, but I give you please uh, freedom to make some noise in the world. Big inhale. Okay, and whether you're religious, spiritual, agnostic, or have no idea in the world, we'll bring our hands into our heart. We'll drop our chin. And all that I ask is that you would go inside and find what for you is most reverent, meaningful, holy, if you will, or sacred, and come into alignment with that. I believe if we all go deep enough in together, we. Whatever it is, we come to that same glory together. May we get just the practice we need today. May it be delivered through me to you to that you may thrive and prosper. Very good. All right. So we're going to do some joint juice. We usually start with that. And I'd like to start with my shoulders because they tend to bind up. I tend to wear a yoke that is heavy and burdensome when a spiritual teacher says, 
my yoke is light and easy to bear. So trying to drop the rocks and wear an easier backpack. We all have to wear one, but we shouldn't carry the burden that's not ours. Other way with your shoulders. We should carry our burden for sure. There's no doubt about that, but we shouldn't carry burden that's not ours. Six, seven, eight. Good job. Welcome if you're watching this for the first time. It's just every movement is you're sitting on the floor. Can you cross your legs? Can you lean forward at all? Now, I've got a lot of friends. Their head just comes all the way down. They're very flexible people, and that's their thing. But this is the no comparison to other people class. Now, sometimes when I want to calm myself, I kind of, it's a very gentle sway back and forth like kelp beds off of Monterey. I use weird metaphors sometimes, and I just kind of move a little side to side, close my eyes. And I've got a willingness to think less. Now, inhale, look forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale and release, maybe a little more. Now we'll kind of hold more still. Relax your shoulder blades apart, drop your chin. Good, that's a good start. Come on up, my friends. And we'll switch across the legs. This time we might draw back on the hip flesh that tilts our pelvis forward often, makes a forward fold somewhat more accessible. But I want you to find the middle ground of sensation. You want to feel something, but you don't want it to be, you want it to be just right where you can feel your body, where you can breathe, where your senses can turn inward. Drop your chin, relax your hair, cool your jets, less thinking, more feeling. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. An incredible amount of stuff out in the future, big football games, weddings, marriages, births, all this life, new relationships, new adventures. It's all lined up for us, but it's nice to pause and enjoy the glory that's unfolded so far. Now, if it makes sense from fingertips, long spine, inhale, look forward, relax your shoulders. And then on an exhale, see if perhaps a little more space is opened up. And on your next inhale, please come up. Good. I'm going to go back to the more familiar cross for myself. I'll leave that entirely up to you. It's the least I can do. And if there's one thing I love doing, it's the least I can do. That's actually not true. I'm quite busy, but just a little thing. Good. Now take right fingers and tilt your head over to the right. This really does take time. It takes time. It takes attention. It takes intention. It takes, oh my God, it takes patience. Drop your chin a little bit, relax both shoulders. And to some degree, we have to wait for it. We can't, we can't rush it. If you're anything like me, you want everything right now, no waiting instantaneously, exactly when I want it. And this waiting for stuff is like, who invented waiting for stuff? Just go up to the shelf and rip it off and out you go.
All good things come to those who wait. Patience is a practice. Good, now we'll just gently bring our head back up, left fingers back right corner, softly tilt, see where it goes. Every day is different. Now, when it comes to patience, I have several fr friends. They're just really easy going. They take their time. Things come when they come. And it's just a beautiful demeanor of life. And other people are just they seem to be wired differently. They run on a different voltage. It's right now, instant, got to have it, not waiting, get out of my way, driving on the sidewalk, going to pass you in the emergency lane. There's just different ways to be coiled up in this life. So sometimes us impatient people need to calm down. Sometimes overly patient people need to be poked in the behind a little bit, but Yoga balances us out. Yoga tunes us like a guitar string just right. Good, beautiful friends, and then we'll bring pumpkins back up. Excellent. Drop your chin, take your head around six times. Self-care at its finest, one. Patience at its best, two. Three. Maybe this very moment is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Five. Maybe everything is working out for us. Six. Good other way. One. Two, three, nowhere to go, just caring for our bodies, mind, soul, and spirit. Five, good, then the almost unbelievably delicious dropping your chin down and closing your eyes. Relax your shoulders, eyes are closed, and with your head bowed down, not only is it reverent, but you can make a little whispery sound along the back of your throat if you're familiar with it. If you're not, you are now. It's called ujjayi breathing, where you make a little whispery aspirin sound by dragging the breath along the back of your throat. Yogis have been doing it since long before at the NFL. We're looking to find that inner sanctum, that place of unshakable center that is always there as beautiful safety and sanctuary, no matter what. That's a wonderful thing to find, isn't it? Okie doke, and we'll get our angel wings going. Inhale up, out to the side. Take your wings behind your back. Bring them up behind your neck. Optional to say poof. Inhale is up the back to the apex. Poof, they say together. After enough inquiry, scientific study, investigation, sooner or later you have poof, a spiritual awakening. It's no longer Looking at the menu of spirituality, you get to eat the food, yum. Poof, or with, as they say, without vision, the people perish, arms out. And then Cheryl Crow, side to side. Now, I'm not supposed to be lift, lifting my booty buns when I go left to right, but I do a little bit. It's interesting, I've been taking piano lessons on a big old, on a real piano, and and 
couple of songs, you got to go way left and way right. And I was talking to my teacher about it. She's been playing for 60 years, professional session, played with all the best in the world, seriously. And I go, what happens when you got to go way over to the high keys and way over to the low keys? And she goes, your butt's not allowed to move, but you can shift, you can shift. And it's a very subtle thing. But she does it brilliantly. And I, I'm a foot taller than she is. <laughs> And relax your, oh, my arms are so tired now. Beat the heels of your hands together. It's a pressure point. If you come to my class, you might get some discount acupressure. Beat, beat, beat. This is good for glossy coat and shiny teeth. Good now, be a cat. Purr, 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 purr. <laughs> I'm getting too happy now. Purr in here, mush, mush, and smush, mush. Just open up the front of your hips a little by massaging them. Now, you might be watching on YouTube. Maybe you're watching on Zoom. Now, when it comes to Zoom on Sundays, frequently 12, maybe 15 viewers of my local friends. Today, there's three, okay? Because everybody's at Costco buying shrimp cocktail. So thank you for coming. Damn 49ers, they're just ruining me. Good. Now, arms out in vulture flexion, vulture capitalists. My guitar teacher is talking about this flexion of the wrist. So I'm learning from all angles. Smush, smush. I just like it because this move, I can see why cats do it, because obviously this comes from um, nursing and the calm and the peace of mother and child together. Good. Now take your shoulders back up over and go around over the top. Good. Now we'll let our arms fling out and we'll move up for an ohm. Inhale. Oh. Now, this may seem a little unusual for a yoga class, but hands at your heart, drop your chin, close your eyes, and I invite you to pray for yourself for the thing most wanted or needed, and I encourage and invite you to pray boldly, large prayers, thinking of God, love, source as provider, as provision. As a parent, you love giving your kids great things, don't you? You would give them anything. So feel free to ask big if you'd like. Is this yoga? This is the deepest kind of yoga in my estimation. Yoga means connection. Good. Okay. Vince, we'll take our paws out. We'll turn them over so thumbs are on the outside. And most of my friends are bendier than me. The heels of their hands come all the way down. Drop your chin, lean into your paws. Pause when agitated. Please drop your chin, close your eyes and connect to that infinite provision supplier provider. Sometimes it's like, well, I have enough, and if I get too much, other people won't get theirs. It's challenging sometimes for the mortal mind to remember that God is infinite, and God can, any amount can come out of God, and there's still infinite left over. That's usually, you know, if you have $20,000, you give somebody $10,000, you, you've lost half your stuff, but it's not that way with God. Good. All right. Now, just 
Separate your legs out a little for a skosh more room, arms out, in turtles, out turtles, turtles with throwing in, turtles saying, hi, how you doing? Turtles have enough, got to get some sanctuary. Turtles need some social, just back and forth. Good, now all the internal, and then turtle wings behind your back. <laughs> Pack them in your pits, kids, chickens. Feet together, elbows inside your knees, and can I squeeze my elbows in together? I could, but it would be off to the hospital. Drop your chin, close your eyes. This also stimulates really interesting pressure points inside your knees. Go into your prayer capsule, your egg. When I go through a rough patch or something bad seems to happen or the world seems to come against me, we all have those times, right? I remember to go into my prayer capsule and I just pray that whatever's come upon me is actually going to unfold for good for myself and for everyone involved. And it always has and it always will. Good, now we'll relax our knees down, we'll roly-poly our wrists. If you haven't done this before, boy, are you going to be happy with this one? Because this is, this cures everything. Other way. Shake out cares and worries, stinking thinking, old patterns of perception. Remember, there's a whole new reality available to us in every moment if we would just train ourselves to not stay stuck in the past very mortal but that's what our brains do our brains make patterns and we fall in yoga is the art and science of dissolving old patterns and making beautiful new ones and with that said you could say hello to your new patterns by waving your hands a little faster and then cup your hands at your heart drop your chin and feel the goodness all lined up for you ready to come in as soon as we're receptive enough to receive it A lot of Sunday self-care yoga is to out with the old, make space on the inside so that the next beautiful iterations can come in. Good. Now gently massage the middle center bottom of your foot with your thumbs. You can explore a little bit off to the side. Oh, there's something kind of cracky and something seemed to pop there. What the hell is that? And then on that side and then straight down Main Street. It's sensitive, isn't it? Oh, well, I don't like to feel anything that's sensitive. I like to be numbed and anesthetized most. No, you don't. Sensitivity is a great tool. Press your thumb through your foot and lean down into yourself, taking your time. You might be way more flexible than me. You actually could come down and pack your feet behind your head. And maybe you're way up here, but it doesn't matter where you are in relation to me. It matters where you are in relation between you and you. Shoulders relax. Find your breath. Good. Now, come on up. So I guess my question is, did you go to Costco this week and get like a new 85 inch TV set? They're on sale. Have you been in there lately? Pallets of liquor, TV sets. Something else is on sale over here. So maybe your current TV set doesn't have very good reception. So we're going to pray with our hands and feet and we're going to grab our rabbit ears. And back in the day, you had rabbit ears on top of your TV set and you'd stretch this one out. You'd move this one and then, hey, we get channel two, there's Walter Conkright. And then stretch that one out. Dan Rather, good, then full rabbit ears. Or things have come a long way, right? <laughs> Little pieces of tin on your TV set to get better reception. And now there's a trillion channels on all, all the time in 10K. 
Are we happier because of that? <laughs> I'm going to let you answer that. Good. Now brings him back in, sets him down. Good. Fold your right chin under because for a lot of people, this is a challenging pose to it's called half kneeling and then half bada konasana. So it's a nice little shape of the body and little kids can sit like this all day long and play their, I was going to say games, watch their iPads and just lean back a little bit. I'm actually glad the era that I, I think I grew up in maybe the best time ever. You could go outside and play. You could ride your bike. If you fell off your bike, you actually landed on your head, which taught you important lessons. You only had to come home when the street lights went on. Now it's video games and iPad all day long. Do I sound cynical? Lean back. I can't lean all the way on my back. I have a lot of friends that can. I have a lot of friends that can. I have a lot of friends. That's what I like. I generally don't use flexibility as a blueprint for who gets to be my friend or not. And I hope people don't apply that standard to me. Can you do the splits? Well, then you can be my friend. Ugh, what a nightmare. Okay, super friendly friends, come up. Now, we might be bursting in explosive um, emotion later today. So we're going to practice by lifting up our hippies. Touchdown, name your team, lift up, sink down. Good, now the score is tilting wildly in your favor. So you put your hands behind your head and you tilt wildly in your favor with flavor and savor. Turn your chest up. We are calm and peaceful souls, no matter what the score is. We're impervious to hot and cold, pleasure and pain, good repute and bad reputation. Doesn't matter. We have our center. Sometimes the world loves you. Sometimes the world seems to hate you. Good. Now inhale up, push pause up like this. Reach for the sky. Turn right, release left hand down to right hip or right ankle, and then look around behind you. Relax your shoulders, tall spine, and the feeling of exerting your butt cheeks into the floor, kind of, and then feeling the rebounds up through your spine. Every pose is a prayer. Eyes are closed. Mind is open. Heart is receptive. Breathe. Inhale here. Good. And come on out of that one. Good job. And then we'll take our right knee and we'll stick it out to the side. We'll fold our left shin under like this. Very clever pose. Ask your grandchild grandchildren or children to do it. Lean back and they'll go flop and you might get stuck about here and then you'll realize, wow, being on the planet for a few years has developed some tension or some holding in my body, but slow patient releasing application like this, which is called yin, will restore as much of the factory installed well-being as you want. If you're all the way on your back and you're kind of grooving, arms up over your head, I call it Marilyn Monroe pose. Betty Grable, Rita Hayworth. If you have no idea who those people are, then that's okay. Name your modern siren, if you will.
stop thinking you can actually do it you have a you don't have an on off switch but you have a dial a dimmer switch inside of your head on your next inhale draw up and now maybe there's times in the game today where it seems like it tilts not in your favor so tilt this way but you'll still be calm, confident, knowing that whatever happens, you'll be safe, secure, and stable. Even should the unthinkable happen, the 49ers only win by like 14 points instead of 50 points, you'll be okay. And remember, later today, you're going to have to counsel your friends and family members in Detroit. You're going to have to give them soothing, calm words that continue to make life worth living. It's not easy being a 49er fan. Good. Now, inhale up, stretch paws up to heaven. See the God, the saints, everybody's wearing a 49er jersey. <laughs> Sorry. Inhale. Now turn way left, 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 right hand, left ankle, left hip. Look around behind you. You're flying down to the Super Bowl in Las Vegas. Looking back at the Detroit fans. If you have no interest in football whatsoever, actually good for you, that's interesting. Inhale here, and on exhale, come out of twisty twistiness. Good, now make hands behind you and touch down San Francisco. Kick the extra point with your butt, lift up really high, head back, a little higher, go over the crossbar and come on down. Several pathetic football metaphors, I agree. Now take this out. Ooh, nice. All right. Now we're going to move into the slower, calmer yin restorative. Yeah, but not without chanting a, like a two minute long ohm. <clears throat> You're the ohm team. Okay, so biggest inhale of your whole life. Oh, feel that. Let a nice elixir of calm, love, light, and peace spread from head to toes, from nose to toes, from toes to nose. We are calm and loving souls. Everything is always unfolding brilliantly for us. In religious language, the way they say that is, all things work together for good for those who love God. That gets my wholehearted resonance and approval. You know what else gets my approval? The idea of in heaven, St. Francis wearing a Montana jersey. I don't know. That just floats my boat. Now, time for a relaxing twist. What do you think? So I'm going to back up a little bit. Now, I don't know what you have in your house. But I have all the yoga props that used to be at my yoga studio. And that includes a bolster. I'm going to put my bolster out in front of me. If you don't have a bolster, two, three blankets folded up would be fine. Your pet, your mate, your something. Now, I used to do a lot of about 10 years. I was a body worker. I worked on I mushed meat a lot and I really, really it was a good time of my life. I learned a lot about physicalness. And then one day I just didn't want to do it no more. So now I'm just going to 
back to the old days, going to kind of massage my, my bolster a little bit. Good, because I want to give you time to get your bolster out in front of you at 12 o'clock. This is my favorite restorative twist. Wow, there's cat fur on my... Now, uh, take your knees over to the left like this. Slide the left side of your hip, your left hip pad if you're a football player. Slide it into the side of your bolster. Put your right hand on the bolster for stability. Now, I'm unfolding my knees and ankles so they go behind me in mermaid pose. So if I turn my head and look behind me, there are my knees and I cross my right ankle over my left ankle. Then I turn my body back to the front. I put both hands on the bolster and then like a 737 getting ready to take off, we do the pushback. And that stretches these things. Then my right hand goes over here. We're prepping for deeper and deeper twist. And then I take my bolster over to one o'clock on my dial. Now this, this is my belly button. I suspect that's about where yours is too. I'm gonna twist it to the right, aim it down. And then slow motion, slow emotion. At the last second, go to your right ear. And then my arms like to kind of go down out to the side in cactus pose. If that seems too strong, you can have your arms by the side of your body. Do whatever you want with your arms. Now your, your pet might be concerned, wondering why you've collapsed on the floor. Reassure them it's for the best. Maybe they'll lick your nose. The person that feeds me is down. And we're going to relax in relaxing twisty pose for at least two glorious minutes. This is yin pose. If you don't know what yin means, yin for a surprise. You just wait and let your body relax into the pose. It's good to take some time off, get off the clock. Let your bones settle, just a big old bag of bones, sack of clams. At the start, your breath will be shorter and sometimes a little choppier and then your breath and the rhythm, the pattern of your breath will smooth out. Your mind will smooth out. Your emotions will soothe out. Your emotions will become as the surface of the ocean when it's perfectly glassy, smooth and untrammeled just in time for the football game. Now, this is fully optional. Sometimes when I'm feeling bendier, I like to come up when I'm halfway in, I take my bolster another half an hour over to the right. I turn a little more and then on a good day, I'll come down to my left ear and I'll really get a good twist and squeeze out a lot of the old, make room for the new, optional.
this is the time when you're on the honor system where you submit and surrender to the duration of the pose. Something happens about two minutes in that just won't happen otherwise. <clears throat> There's a particular kind of release, a disengagement that only time will tell. Okay, begin to come back to your breathing nice and slow. Take your time. If you did go over to your left ear, just unwind to your right ear. I can hear my digestive juices gurgling as the twist activates and stimulates all that stuff. Good, now draw your hands in and slowly, 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 lovingly push up and out. Take your time. It's a good pose for taking your time. Now, again, I'm just gonna put my hands on the bolster and I'm gonna just very gently push back to where I go. There's a point where it's like, oh, there's my edge. Lean back into it a little bit. Good, then I just simply draw my legs back around to the front, take my bolster back to 12 o'clock high. Get back to square one with my legs crossed, squared up with my bolster. Maybe give my bolster one or two good kitties. I think this bolster is actually smaller than my cat. My cat's up to about 49 pounds, monster mountain snow lynx. I'm not sure what he is. Frisky. <laughs> All right, now, want to do the other side with me? Want to do the other side? Sure you do. So take your knees over to the right. Slide in with your left football hip pad into the side of your bolster. Good. And then put a left hand down for stability. Now, like a good NFL running back, twist your legs around behind you. Line up your knees and ankles and take your left ankle up over your right ankle. Push in to take both hands onto the bolster. Do that leaning back to stretch this whole side structure. 
It's a great stretch. I invented it. I invented almost all these poses a long time ago in previous lifetime. I spent a lot of times in Himalayan caves. Let me tell you. Now, put your left hand over here. Take your bolster over to cleverly to 11 o'clock. Now, you have a belly button. I have a belly button. Get the jewelry out of the way. Push in and turn my belly button down. That's why I don't think I'll ever get a belly button piercing. Anything could happen. Aim your face, belly down. And Dr. Greg recommends left ear for starters. And you come down, where do your arms go? I like cactus arms. Maybe you like pine tree arms down by the side of your body. Now, let's do one of the most interesting things that humans can do together. Lay around and do nothing. This is called the parasympathetic nervous system. You can't always be running from saber tooths. Sometimes you got to pause with the tribe. You got to feed and you got to breed, if you know what I mean. So relax. Feed and breed. Well, that sounds like fun. Yep. Relax, settle in. Now, roughly at the halfway point, fully optional. Um, if you just like a little more twist, this is entirely up to you. I'm going to come up, take my bolster over another half an hour over to 1030. And then I'm going to squeeze out a little more by coming to my right ear. But I'm going to leave that up to you. I trust you. I may have never met you, but I trust your sensibility. If you're in my class, you're smarter than average bears. Now we have to give time time, we get to give time time, and we practice the extraordinary discipline of patience, peace, the tincture of time.
people just tuning in on YouTube live streaming, seeing this for the first time, it's like, wow, it's a dead guy just laying on the floor, kind of, but dead in the best kind of way, calming my mind, settling my body, letting my soul heal from peace, calm, and patience. Now, if you did go to your right ear, go back over to your left ear, unwind slowly our mortal coil. Bag of bones, just like your cat on the floor. My cat actually leaves a dent in the floor. He relaxes so much, he's so heavy. Now exhale all the air out. Draw your hands in. And Dr. Greg, I've got a future doctorate in music coming up. So we'll come up together, pushing both my hands into my bolster and leaning back, stretching this rarely stretched side system structure thingy, science. Okay, now I unfurl my legs. And now it's actually 1201. And I know a lot of you are probably going to be leaving to watch the Chiefs and the the Buffalo, no, the Baltimore Bison. I'm not sure what they're called. The Buffalo Bisons. The Baltimore Bisons. So all I'm in, we're going to have a finishing extra super relaxing pose. I hope you do it with me. You could always skip the pregame festivities. So I build an edifice like this. It's my favorite restorative pose. That goes there. I build an incline. Then I roll up a little burrito for my left thigh. This will make sense in a moment. If it doesn't make sense, not everything makes sense immediately. Have you ever noticed? Life is often confusing and uncertain and clarity comes later. So this teaches me to <laughs> slow down a little bit. You may not have this many blankets, so you might have to um, come up with what you got. That's where my head's going to go. What else do I have? I think that's sufficient. I don't want to overdo it. Typically, I like overdoing it. Now, this is called Supta Baddha Konasana Restorative Version. And I escooch in my butt in. Listen, I scooch in my butt. I bring my feet together. I slide these burritos underneath my thighs so my legs don't rip. And I lay on my back. And then there's always these little micro connection corrections to get it perfect. Now, I don't know about you, but I got one pointy ass tailbone. Sorry, my language. But if I lift up a little bit and just bring the blankets a little bit underneath my scientific term butt cheeks and my pointy tailbone doesn't poke into the floor and now we're released into mutual cosmic orgasmic intergalactic spectacular ecstasy together and we'll do this for five minutes and i hope you do it with me i like doing it with my friends makes it better Close your eyes and in we go. I don't need no stinking, I certainly don't need two games. So avoid the temptation to watch the Kansas City Mohawks versus the Baltimore Bison.
Relax, settle in, let your eyes drop, shoulders release, elbows hang, face releases, jaw unhinges, gut soften, butt releases, yay. And you might be thinking, your last remaining thought before you go to La La Land is, I sure like this class a lot. I'm going to come to this one every week. I'm going to tell my friends and I'm going to like and subscribe as soon as I come out of this and probably leave a very positive comment. Post starts now, drop in, push off from the shore. Let's go over the horizon together. Stop thinking. Let your mind go, let it drift, let it wander like a drop of rainwater dropped into the ocean, dispersing back into the its larger constituent.
Two more happy minutes, dreamy, drifty, floating downstream, permission to relax more than you ever have. Really good for you. Really good for me. Good for you. Good for me. Good for all of us. There's no shortage of good, just shortage of ability to access it sometimes. Now keep everything exactly as it is. Just slide your legs out into pool lounge chair pose. You're in your infinity pool up in the Bel Air Hills above LA, floating around, occasionally checking your bank account. There's just more and more zeros after the first number. And you just, Loving it. Now come back to breathing through your whole body, feel your body weight back on the floor, this delightful receptive place between the worlds. And then our Sunday ritual, if you'd like to invite or invite more so God, love, source, infinite, higher, organizing, glory, presence of being in, now is a beautiful time. Swing open the door of your soul, say, Come on in, infinite. I'd love to fit in ever more perfectly into thy scheme of things. Good, nice deep breath back in your body. And then we're going to sit up together really slow to conclude the class. Oh, man, I'm going to take my time. Mm, I say. And then I have to, I guess, square myself back up with the media. And then if you go deep into you, and I go deep into me, and you go deep into me, and I go deep into you, we come to the same place together. So we bring our paws into our heart to symbolize. We drop our chin, we close our eyes. And we feel our common connection of love, bliss, light, life, and truth. And from that glorious connection, all together we say, Namaste. As always, I bid adieu to my YouTube friends, and whether you're in San Francisco, Detroit, Baltimore, or Kansas City, May your day be filled with equanimity, joy, and peace. If you like the vibe of this tribe, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge diff.